Mr. Garcia, is that your true and correct name? Yes. And is your date of birth May 15th, 1973? Yes, sir. Council want to state your appearance? Uh, we'll continue the arraignment to June the 9th, 2014 at 8.30 in this department. Bail in your case is set at $1 million. Yes. I was told by numerous people that he treated her like a queen. He was devoted. <clears throat> she had her own car. She had her own job. She was very independent. As I would say to anybody with common sense such as yourself, why is it that now, May of 2014, she's trumping up these charges and allegations? The defendant was charged today with five felony counts, including kidnapping to commit a sexual offense, forcible rape, and three counts of lewd acts on a child. I believe so, but I don't know. Would you know the meeting that she had with her mother? It, after the victim turned 15 years old, the defendant's accused of forcibly raping her and sexually assaulting her on multiple occasions while he was living in a home with her and her mother in Santa Ana. In August of 2004, the defendant's accused of kidnapping this victim and moving with her to a home in Compton. Back up the story, you know, her story. He changed both of their names so that they would be harder to detect and he went to great lengths to make sure that she wouldn't be identified. He also is accused of uh, convincing her that she had nowhere else to go. He's accused of telling her that her family didn't care about her, that they weren't looking for her, and that if she were to report him to law enforcement that she would get in trouble because she'd been living under a false name. How did she get away from the defendant? How did she get away from the defendant? 